Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the beautiful Metal River. I'm looking forward to a great fishing trip. We're staying at an awesome campground and... Hey, you guys, get away from my RV. Here I am and I'm ready to rock. I got my hip waders on, but I ain't got no socks. Got some flies and some lures in my tackle box. Yeah, I'll fish anywhere, even out of the docks. So get your fish on. Come on, come on. I got a fish on. So won't you go on a fish with me? Wow. Don't you know where to set you free? We're gonna catch some big fishies. So come on a fish with me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here on the Metal River near Winthrop, Washington. <laughs> Why we wab it? <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at uh, Metal River near Winthrop, Washington. We're going to be using our pontoon boats today, and we're going to go after some cutthroat, maybe some rainbow. Yep. And it's a beautiful river. We should have the river to ourselves. You don't expect to catch anything big this time of year, but it should be a fun show, so stick around anyway. What do you think, Steve? I think so, yeah. Um, we may catch some big fish. The, the, the better time for the big fish is August and September, but uh, we're here a little bit less crowded and still opportunity to catch some big ones. Yeah, these good fighting fish. Hit the little stimulator here. I can just release him right here. Sure. What a beautiful rain. There he goes. Right. Good job. Yeah. Not the usual way I catch a fish, but was just dragging it back up the stream and he hit hard. Yeah, I just turned the camera off. Yep. <laughs> and you're dragging it up. Yep, I guess they like that. It's cool. All I right. can't imagine catching a 16 inch or the way that thing fought. Yeah. Man. Actually, I can't imagine. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Yeah. On the Metau, it's a catch and release only river. And I'm using a fly. It's pretty heavily weighted. I got a pretty big split shot on it. Because we got fast water right here, which makes it extremely difficult to cast. But it's important. It's important that I get down near the bottom. There we go. There's one. Oh, it's a good fish. <laughs> that thing just leaped. That's a good fish. That thing, oh, that's a jumper. Yeah, it's definitely a rainbow. Woo! It's going for another nice run. Probably about 12 inches, 13, but man. Woo! I tell you, this fast current, these things, oh! <laughs> these things just bite. Awesome. Oxygen, watch him swim away. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was great. I just love the way those rainbows just skyrocket out of the water. It's awesome. On the way to the Metau, we stopped at the Grand Coulee Dam. It is made from 12 million cubic yards of concrete, and it is the largest concrete structure in the United States. It was completed in 1941 and has become a favorite tourist destination. Oh, oh, I think I just had a hit. That felt like a weighty fish.
Oh yeah. Steve looks into a nice fish. Woo! Yeah, it's decent fish. Yeah, it's a better fish. Yeah, print snip. Strikes again. Oh yeah, he's pretty weighty. I think that's a bow. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Sweet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at him go. Oh man, he did not like seeing us. I think that's the first time he realized he was hooked. That was sweet. Beautiful trout, holy smokes. Ooh, he's heavy. I should get a net. You have a net? I'm gonna go get it, I'll try. <laughs> tell you, these are fat fish. Nice bow, very nice bow. Okay. Is that a cut or a bow? Oh, it's a cutthroat actually. Just really bright. It's a nice 13, 14 inch cutthroat. All right. Yes. Okay, let's get him back in there. Good. Beautiful. After admiring the trout, Steve releases it back into the river. Okay, here he goes. All right, finally. Steve just caught a nice cut out of here. He was kind enough to give me a spot. <laughs> Steve caught a nice cut, and this is what I get. That was kind of fun. We decided to take a side trip to Winthrop, a popular tourist town built in a western theme. Then we decided to wet a line in the Chiwak River, a major tributary to the Metau. We're here on the Chiwak River, just north of Winthrop, just north of Winthrop, west of Winthrop, somewhere around Winthrop, and uh, it's a beautiful little stream. We just heard about this not too long ago. I guess there's some nice rainbow in here and some cutthroat. In this fast current, it's gonna be a lot of fun to catch these guys. My fly was just tacked right in this area here. So I'm gonna see if it'll come back again. Oh, there, oh, there it is. Yep. It's a little nicer fish here, a little nicer. Is that a bow? I think so. Woo! Let's <laughs> get him nice and revived. Yep, there she goes. All right. I can hear the falls. Yep. We decided to check out the falls at Falls Creek, a tributary to the Chiwak. These are the falls at Falls Creek, just off the Chiwak River. Pretty impressive sight. It's a little different than the garter snakes I've seen. So what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna pick it up, I can tell you that. <laughs> Wonder if that could be a rattler. Baby rattler? Yeah, oh baby. Well, we just saw two of them. Could be a gopher snake too. Okay, as you can see, I've just waded across this uh, pretty vast river, but it's pretty easy wade. And the reason I came over here is because there's some greenish water. Ooh, and that usually indicates depth, and I just had a hit. Jeez. I just had a hit. It was just dangling there. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. It's a huge fish. Huge! It's huge! Ah! Uh, dang it, Steve, no net again. Okay. Oh, it's by far the biggest. Oh. The big fish hunkered down in the fast current. 
Steve, where'd I go? What do I do? Help me. Steve? What? Why don't we bring nets wherever we go? It's a big old fish. What you could do is put your, put the camera down and make a sprint. Oh no. I think that's a white fish. I am the king of the white fish, folks. Well, it's another big white fish, though. Is that a white fish? We had no idea where the boy appeared but from, not what I was but after. he was a neat kid. Hey, it's still fun to catch him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you really want to keep him. There. There he goes. <laughs> Whitefish king. Yep. Pretty nice whitefish. Yeah. Um, what kind of fly are you guys using? Um, I was using a stonefly nymph. You guys get down to kind of the end down here. Uh huh. There's there's like five rainbows down there. Five rainbows. Yeah, it's a nice one too. Jeez. Me and my friend, we were down there just we were fishing. And there were some monsters jumping. Yeah, just around that corner, just fish all that really hard. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, buddy. Oh, all right, thanks. This spot looks like a great riffle for nymphing. We'll see if there's any fish in here. How do you catch a whitefish on a muddler minnow? <laughs> but we can do it. Not what we're looking for. All right, well, let's go see what we can do. Yep, we can get the real fish. <laughs> white fish are the best fish, dude. <laughs> Not everyone can get white fish like we can. That's true. They are good fighters. The next uh, major sport fish, huh? I think so. Because of our show. Have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when you're fishing the Metal Valley and you want to sneak out for a round of golf, this is a beautiful golf course. It's called Bear Creek, and it's worth checking out. That's one of the best drives I've hit all year, and you saw it. <laughs> you should give up fishing. <laughs> no kidding. Of course, we all know it's drive for show, but for dough. I can't, I can't have that putt on film. <laughs> yeah, I could be here a long time. Ah, Alice. Anyway, folks, if you ever come to this area, check out uh, Bear Creek Golf Course, beautiful course. These uh, soft weights are really nice because you can take the amount that you want and then you squeeze it onto the line depending on you know whether there's it's really deep or fast. You can add a little bit more or less. I really like it. Okay, Steve, let's hear that quote you just <laughs> gave. Well, if we can't catch fish out of there, it's time to quit. Like for the day or retire from the fish and show business? Maybe both. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mike, check the mics. Looking good? All right. Oh, yeah. Whew. What do you got there? I'm not sure yet. Fish? Yeah. Good Wait fish? Oh. oh, no. Darn it. Oh. Those are too few and far between to yeah. lose like that. Yeah, that's too Darn bad. it. Ah. Shoot. Yeah, it's good fish. Wow, the stonefly nymph. Wow. Yeah. Just put that on. Yeah. Woo. Drag's a little tight there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah that's that's... Uh... oh, that was the best one of the trip. It's a big old cutthroat. Why? Big 
Why are they all coming off? If you need flies or tackle for the Metau, stop in the small town of Carlton at the Carlton General Store. They'll have everything you need. All right. Yeah. Whew. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I tell you, they got weight to them. Oh, that's a bull trout. Definitely. Looks like he went after it and hooked him on the side there, but. Yeah, so you want to release these very carefully. All right, let that guy go. There he goes. All yeah, right. nice fish, boy. Varieties, cutthroat, rainbow, and bull trout now today. That's pretty good. Yeah, All excellent. Right. Nice job, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you in socks? <laughs> I was just getting ready to put my waders on, and uh, somehow I hooked a fish. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but. I don't know. It's <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. Oh, there it is! 